I have something to say. Now the Conservatives have swept into power, they have promised us a certain amount of denationalisation. What if they decide to denationalise the health service? It's a thought, isn't it? No more free prescriptions. Hypochondriacs, like myself, would be finished. <laughs> well, I don't mind telling you, I worried about it so much, I very nearly made myself ill. Then, I evolved a plan. Get in as much as you can, I said to myself, while there is still time. <laughs> and I did. Oh yes, I went. With foul intent, with cat-like tread, into the surgery, and got each day prescriptions that were free. And with great stealth, I stocked up every shelf, while I could still get it on the national health. A store of wealth on every shelf. I even got that mercy that makes budgies bound with hell. I think I've got a stock of everything that's pharmaceutical A thousand different pills that are considered therapeutical Aspirin for headaches and there's tablets for the tummy ache But not the pill that ladies who don't want to be a mummy take I've got a preparation for whenever danger's imminent Cotton wool and iodine and bandages and liniment If ever I need strapping, well I'm sure there must be some about And surgical appliances that I shall just keep mum about Got a steel corset that fits underneath me undies And some new elastic stockings and a special pair for Sundays I think I have the answer to each pain or inflammation So it's fiddle to the British Medical Association I've nearly got a cellar full of camphorated oil And a cupboard full of poultices for slapping on a boil There's a hundred different ways of getting rid of constipation If I use them all at once I'll be a national sensation I really feel I'm covered for all terrible predicaments For every disease I've got applicable medicaments The only thing that really is reducing me to tears Is I haven't felt so flipping well for years And years I haven't felt so flipping well for years and years and years <laughs>